was a dark and stormy night when I first came upon him. I saw him, a wolf rat, in the distance, sitting, contemplating. And I thought to myself, I should go and speak to this man. I should get a rich story of his childhood or his past or his loves gone by. Dreams that have withered and died with the tide. Then I took a closer look. Jump in the tub with all them bubbles. Guess what? I'm with you 100%. Get with that ball. I'm going to show you. I'm going to make you cry. And I thought, fuck that. Let's learn more for that. What is happening, my grateful babies? And welcome to a brand new episode of The Play Dead. As always, I'm Davy. And if it is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, the like button, everything you can do to help us out. And this episode is brought to you by me, baby, and the Golden Road Guitar Course. That's right. If you ever wanted to learn how I play the guitar or, you know, to, to Jerry-ish, you know, up the joint, this is the way to do it. Instead of focusing on, sh you know, scales and modes, we focus on shapes and patterns. It's the easiest way to learn I've found. So I don't know if it works for you, but it works for me. You can find out more at the end of the episode. So, getting into it, The Wharf Rat, baby. It was written in like 70, 71-ish. It was first performed in February of 71. Uh, the lyrics were a little different. Like when Robert Hunter wrote them, they were, you know, of course, it was written by Robert Hunter, Jerry Garcia. Sorry about that. Got to do the thing. Got to do the Robert Hunter, Jerry Garcia thing. Um, so, it was written 71-ish, right? Uh, the, the original first line was Wharf Rat, down by the docks of the river, right? Changed a lot. Uh, I also always thought it was interesting. The line August West, the name August West of the wharf rat is I, it feels like a nod to Jerry just because like, you know, he was born in August and on the West coast. So August West, that's what I always thought, you know? Um, and also I love, this is one of my favorite songs. I know I say that a lot, but this is definitely one of my top amorphous top five you know, five to 10 that keeps like continually cycling in and out of the number one spot. War Fred is definitely up there. I love singing this song. Feels like it's ripping your heart out, right? There's that juxtaposition of like through different seasons of your life, you kind of are the war frat or you are the, the man walking, right? Uh, the, either like the man who's been left by Pearly Baker or is down on his luck or whatever. And, uh, or the man who's got, uh, Bonnie Lee, you know what I'm saying? Uh, also I always saw Warf Rat in like a trio of songs. I always saw deal loser and Warf Rat as like a trilogy. I always thought it started with deal. It turns into loser. And then at the end of it, you become Warf Rat. That's what I always thought. Let me know what you think. Okay. So this is how the song is going to break down. You've got your intro, you've got a verse, and then you got that thing and you know what that is. the bridge and we're going to the bridge Ooh, the bridge that's right and then there's you know it's it, there's a little e minor section which is kind of like an extra bridge ish and then there's your outro jam it's very the the song's not too bad other than the the time siggy change during the bridge but we're going to handle that, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're going to get into that old intro. Hey, what's happening? Welcome to the intro. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's very simple. All right, so listen to me, and then we'll, we'll do it. All right, you little crack-smoking amphibian. This is how we're going to break it down, okay? So we're starting on this, this chord that's called an A-sus-2, right? And all it is is you do a regular A, but you take your pinky away. That's the A that we're using. Ooh. 
right? And that's all we're doing basically is we're sliding that shape up from the first fret to the second fret. What you're doing with that A sus uh, two, sorry, I'm used to an A sus four, but an A sus two, right? You're basically just, yeah, this is a C sharp on the B string right there in that A, and you're basically just turning it into a B, right? You're changing. So anywhere that you would want to change that C sharp in any of the chord inversions of an A, you would just change that C sharp to a B. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's your A that you're using, right? And there's a couple little riffs that you can do within that, right? So you've got the... Right, you've got your little, your little chord progression, and then you, what you would do is... All right, and what you're doing there is you're just sliding from the one to the two on the G string, and then you, you'll do three, two on the B string, and then back to two on the G. So. Right? Not too bad, pretty simple. So alternating, it'll do this, all right? So the first time it'll sound like this. And then the second time you're gonna do this thing. Right, and all that is, is what you're doing is you're making this kind of like G shape on the A and D strings, right? So what you're doing is your point or your middle finger is on the fifth fret of the A string. Your pointer finger is on the fourth fret of the D string, right? Effectively making a D root. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide that up. You're gonna slide your, your pointer finger up a half step and you're gonna slide your middle finger or to your ring finger up a whole step to that seventh fret. So you're going from four, five to five, seven, right? So, but you're going to be sliding it. Right? Like that. And there's also another thing you can do on the guitar too, which is... It's kind of like a, a, a harmony to the... And all that is, is three, two on the high E, and then to the three on the B, to the five on the B. And I like to do the Jerry trail off. That's always fun. And you can also jam over it. So the backing track that I made for this has a little jam in the intro, right? Before you get to the verse. And guess where we're fucking going next? Can you fucking guess? Can you even tell? Do you even know? Do you even have the gumption? Do you have an iota of an inkling of a hint of a hunch? Do you have any idea? We're going to the verse. That's it. That's what we're doing. Okay, so let's do it. Mwah. All right, children, welcome to the verse. This is what it looks like, all right? It's not It's not bad at all. These verses aren't really... Again, the only really tricky part is the bridge to this. So let's, let's listen and we will. Oh, man, die. So, how we're we gonna break it down? We're starting on that A sus two. That's home in this song, okay? So you'll be like, "Old man down." You just chill on it, or you'll do those little riffs down to E minor. Way down, down, down by the docks of the city. Back to that A sus two.
grand and dirty. You're just chilling there. This is home. Back to E minor. He asked me for a dime. Dime for a cup of coffee. So sometimes I'll throw in that G, that G root, which is that third third fret of the, the low E, right? Cup of coffee. Coming back from that E minor, that A, right? And now we're going to drop to E minor. Got no dime, but I've to D. Got some time to hear his back to that A sus two story. So it's E minor. Got no dime, but I've to D. Got some time to hear his A sus two story. Name is August West. E minor now. Love my pearly baker best more than my wife. Right? You see what I'm saying? So that's that's your verses. That's all of the verses that we're going through, right? And now you can change how they feel because back in the day they used to um the they used to get a little poppy on the August West part. So it'd be like, my name is August West, and I love my pearly baker best. You chill out on that E minor, right? And then also during the last. The last verse, the got up and wandered, that's usually started on this kind of like reggae thing. The got up and wandered. To E minor. Wandered downtown. And now you're back to the regular feel of the song. No way to go but just to hang around. Right? Pretty, pretty easy. Okay? So that's that's all of your verses. Right? So you're you're fucking knocking out Warfrat. I mean, people probably think this song is harder than it is. It's not that bad. Okay, so now we're gonna Did you hear that? Oh! All right, welcome to the breeze. This is what it looks like. Okay. Again, like this is this is like really the only super chordy part, right? Um, so listen to it and then we'll do it, okay? So the bridge is the tricky part because what we're doing is we're changing the time siggies, right? We're going from 4-4 four, four to 3-4 four, or 6-8, depending on how you decide to count it. I always kind of end up going 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, because that's easier for me than 1-2-3-4-5-6, right? It's easier for me to do it in couplets of three. 
So we're starting at the end of that last big verse, right? So it'll be on that E minor, the other half I've been to D, stumbling around drunk on. And now we do this little walk down, burgundy wine. So uh, we're doing on the G string, we are going from the seventh fret to the sixth fret to the fourth fret on that G string. And then we're going down to the seventh fret of the D string to hit that A root. Burgundy wine. So the other half I've been stomping around drunk on burgundy wine. And on wine, on wine, that's when we change from 4-4 four, four to 3-4 or 6-8, right? So burgundy, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Right, so on that first bit, uh, we're on A for that first bit of one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we're gonna fold on a D from this A. That's where that nice hammer on is. So it's a hammer on from an A to a D, right? But you're you're kind of leaving that that pinky off. So so one, two, three, one, two, three. A one, two, three. A two, three. A two, three, and then G. But I'll to D get back three one two three G two three one two three D two three on my feet to A right on my feet some day two three two three. Then you're gonna do a D sus four so that would be here so if you're doing this A shaped D you would throw your pointer finger on to that eighth fret of the B string. Or you would do it down here with this D. You'd be adding your pinky to that third fret on that high E. So, um, on my feet someday. Two, three, four, five, six, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so we're doing that D. The D sus four. To D. To C. The D. To G will in one, two, three, C, two, three, C, two, three, G, two, three, one, G to D. D sus back to D. Sound, I know that the and now we're gonna go to an A sus for that's that. La ah, to A, I. Stay on A, live in to E minor, to no good. Now you can do this Bob E minor. Right, so that's my pinky on the seventh fret of the A string, middle finger on the fifth fret of the D string, and my pointer finger on the fourth fret of the G string. Hitting that, hitting that open E string. Or you can do regular E minor or this E minor, it doesn't matter. Um, so, um, live in. To know good. To A. But I'll to A sus four. Get a, a new to A start. A sus four. Back to A. Stay on A. I'll live the life to E minor. I should. That sounded like dog shit, but. <laughs> I'm supposed to mute the other strings. But, right, that's where you hit that E minor. And now you're back in 4-4, four, four, right? Right there. Live the life I should. Now we're back in 4, right? And now we're at this little, like, kind of in-between extra bridges kind of section, the I'll get up and fly away part. So listen to me do that, and we will.
See, that wasn't too bad, was it? All right, so when you come back in from that little section, you land on that E minor, excuse me, hair in my mouth, uh, from my wig. It's a wig. After that little jam section, it's all in E minor. You're going to come back into that E minor, the I'll get up and fly away. Stay on it. I'll get up and fly away. And on flyway, go to A sus two. Fly away. And that's kind of the end of your bridge section. But there's a little lead line in there that kind of follows that melody. So it's. Right? And all I'm doing there is I'm sliding from that fifth fret on the A string to the seventh fret. Because that gives us our E minor root. Right? And then we're going to go to the fifth fret on the D string. And then we're going to hit that seventh fret on the A again as like a little pickup note. And then what we're doing. Going back to that fifth fret on the D, and then we're gonna slide from the seventh to the nine. Then we're gonna come back down, and then we're gonna go back down to the fifth fret on that D. Right? We're gonna go back, back to that seven. Right? Then you're gonna go to the five to the seven. So five, seven, seven, five, seven. You're going to hit that five on the D again. So all together sounds like I'll get up and fly. I'll get up and fly away. So all together sounds like. Right? And then you can get in there and add your own little embellishments or whatever. And it also follows that vocal line of I'll get up and fly away. I'll get up and fly away. Fly away. All right, and then you go into that last verse, right? Uh, or the last two verses, and it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's all the same stuff. And right there on that last, I know she's been, well, I'm sure she's been true to me. On that A, you're now starting the one of the jam, right? And then the jam is in just that A sus two, and then you can watch me jam over it, right? We're going to go into that jam right now, and you can watch that, and then mwah, I'm so proud of you. You learned Warfrat. You did so good. You did so good. For a little little crack smoking amphibian, you did great. Okay, so listen to the jam. Uh, some some decent ideas in there. There's definitely some fuck ups. You leave your fuck ups in. You you grow from it because you never know. There might be some cool stuff that comes out of that stuff. Okay, so listen to that and then come back for the end.
guys, see, again, not the best in the world, but it's just about getting ideas. It's about figuring it out, right? So thank you once again for coming to another episode of Play Dead. Hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, the like button. Do the stuff you're supposed to do. Let me know what you think about the lesson or the song or whatever. I don't care. Let me know what you think about my wig, okay? Uh, go check out the Golden Road Guitar Course, 130 bucks to my Venmo or my PayPal, and I send you the Dropbox link. It's got videos. It's got charts. It's a lot of videos and a lot of charts, and then some backing tracks, and it just shows you how I view the neck and break it down through chord inversions and the whole, whole half method. It's great. You're great. Also, check out our Patreon. We got crazy stuff. Five videos at least a month go up there. Uh, so if you're a $5 tier, you get three videos a month. If you're a $20 tier, you get the, all five videos a month. It's extra. It's a lot. It's too much. Also, merch, realbird.company.site. That's where we have all the Toby and Davey merch, the St. Owsley merch, uh, the Cushing merch. All the stuff that we do is there, okay? Uh, and please, if you want to, you can just donate directly to the channel. That's fine. It, it all helps. Okay, so remember when you're out there, if you see any wharf rats, be kind, be cool, be a good dude. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is not be a dick. That's the only thing. The only thing you have to do is not be a dick. And things will probably work out a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? If you're having a hard time, just know that like taking care of yourself and taking care of other people is the best way to do it. So I love you. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Mwah!